Bon Appetit. Devon, it's, it's, it's not going anywhere. It's not a race. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and today we're here at the Disneyland Resort once again for some more food. We're actually here for the festival holidays, and uh, from what I can see, it's beginning to look a lot like Debon. Hey, what's up guys? Son of a bitch. Well guys, Debon is here for yet another food vlog. Another one. And uh, as you guys know. I'm hungry. Well, yes, besides that, as you guys know, we love doing our food vlogs together because we both have our different opinions on the food. Plus, my opinion matters more. Okay, <laughs> plus, we like to have fun and we have fun together eating our food and just talking uh -oh. shit about each other. So, today we're gonna be doing that once again and I hope you guys are ready. It's all about the holiday stuff. So we're gonna actually be doing the festival holiday boots and we're gonna be trying all the new stuff. No, no repeats. No repeats? No repeats. What does that mean, no repeats? Queso fundido, we're not doing that again. Not, not. Nope, we're not doing the pork belly adobo. Not I was looking for, forward to that one. That. Pork belly adobo, that's a, but dude. We're not, you listen, if you wanna do it on the side, you can do it on the side, but we're not doing it for the vlog. I'll do it on my vlog. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's basically what we're doing today. So no repeats, all new stuff, and we're gonna see how much we can basically fit into our stomachs. So, you ready, Devon? I'm ready. <laughs> oh, this is gonna uh -oh. fucking suck. I'm ready, and I hope you guys are ready. So if you guys are ready, make sure to slap that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let's get ready for a Disney food filled day. Please don't, please don't. <laughs> we just picked up our sip and saver tabs. We have a total of eight, same as previous years. It was 56 bucks for annual pass holders. And basically we're gonna see what we can get that are not gonna be doubles of what we've got previously. And the first place that we're at is here at Favorite Things. And there's a new macaron that's here that we're gonna try out. It is called the Mad Santa Macarons, inspired by Disney Plus series, The Santa Clauses. Chocolate macaron filled with chocolate ganache, peanut butter, mousse, and salted pretzels. Actually, it sounds really good. It's, it's really good. It looks so weird though, like, it looks like a tire. But we'll see what it's like. Devon actually just let me know that he picked up the Churro Toffee Cold Brew Latte. I don't know if we got this last year or not, but he wanted to get it. We have received our items. We have both the macaron and is that pronounced macaroon? I do, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced macaroon. <laughs> but anyway, so we got the macaron right here and then we got the cold brew. Oh, it feels very cold, right? It's very cold. There's a lot of ice in here and there's like pieces of toffee on the top. Toffee? Toffee, yeah. I've never had a piece of like toffee. You've never had the churro toffee here? No. Well, maybe one day we'll try it. We'll do a Devon Eats. Get your straw out. Oh. I'm leaving that clip in. So how about you take a drink of the toffee first and I'll take a bite of the macaron. Okay. All right. One, two, three, cheers. cheers. Oh, oh, peanut butter in here. Really? No. Nice. This is delicious. This is one of the best cold brews I've ever had. This, I mean ever. Is a very good macaron. There's chocolate, there's peanut butter. Dude, I'm gonna have to get another bite on this dog. It's, it, this thing has like um, synonym. And, uh, okay. Cinnamon. <laughs> okay. Cinnamon and um, toffee. And it tastes, yeah, really good. Normally, I, I'm not a fan of the cold foam, but the cold foam here, you gotta drink like this. This is phenomenal. Really? It is so good. Like, I could go for another one after eating this you one. You go for a what? Another one. <laughs> That's really good. You're, if you don't like that, I'm gonna be very, very disappointed. Go ahead and try that. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna eat, like, the middle part, because if you see, notice the middle. That's where all the peanut butter is at, I'm assuming. Holy uh -oh. shit, that's good. I'm telling you. Damn! Did we just start off with the bangers? Dude, that is fantastic. And you know I don't I drink, I don't drink coffee. Mm -hmm. I don't drink coffee and I think that's delicious. There's pretzels in there. Pretzels? What? I wow. Didn't, I didn't get no pretzels. It's sweet and, and salty. Good combo. All right, I have to take another bite with the pretzels. Instant slap, bro. Yeah? Oh yeah, both of those. Instant slaps. I don't give these a slap. What? what? Give them a quack. Vlog's over. <laughs> oh yeah, so if you get this video to 10,000 uh, views, uh, D-Bomb will go uh, front row in a credit coaster. I'm letting you guys know that right now, so <laughs> make it happen. So, absolute bangers, first off. It's a slap, it's a quack, all that jazz. I think we should move on to some salty, savory stuff. 
and see what else we can find. I know you want to get a drink too. So let's go ahead and move on to our next set of foods and drinks. Next booth on the list is Making Spirits Bright. And there is a new food item here that we're going to try. And Devon also wants to grab a drink. So the food item that we're grabbing is the Impossible Chicken Curry Bites with lemon raita ray and coriander chutney. Um, they just look like chicken nuggets. So we'll see what that's about. And then the drink that Devon is getting is the tiramisu yule log cocktail. Vodka, hazelnut liqueur, oat milk, tiramisu syrup, and chocolate bitters garnished with chocolate shavings. That actually looks fantastic. So definitely excited for that. Not so much for this, but let's go get it. All right, guys, and we're back, and we're here checking out another booth. It's called Making Spirits, right, right at the beginning of DCA. And right here where we're going to be having, we are going to be having the tiramisu yule log cocktail and I'm gonna tell you this right now it looks like horchata with chocolate sprinkle on top and I love horchata so I, I am I am so excited to have this drink good job Devon I'm proud of you you know what I'm not proud of you didn't get us any shots and right now you guys what we're gonna be having too is the impossible curry chicken um this <laughs> this does not look not what it's called what is it called impossible <laughs> impossible the impossible <laughs> What is that called? No, it's impossible chicken curry bites. That is impossible curry. What did you say? I said impossible curry chicken. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing, just two words mixed around. The impossible chicken curry bites. Yeah. <laughs> I'm straight out. I smelled it. I'm like, eh. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like how I felt on a teacup rides the other day. Smell it. Okay. <clears throat> Smelling wise, I don't give it a slap. I'm afraid to try it, just smelling it. It smells very, very herby, like lots of herbs, lots of spices. Like it smells like if you were to go to a like Mediterranean spot. All right, let's try this. Good luck, Devon. All right, pee my stomach. Good luck to us and the way that this looks. This does not look good. All right, here we go. Nope. Don't, don't get that. Disney, how dare you rip us off? <laughs> how dare you? So, it's... Just it's, don't get it. As soon as you don't bite get it. into it... Don't get it. As soon as you bite into it, it's an instant curry taste. It tastes cur like like instant curry. It's so whatever the green is. And then you get to like the chicken nugget part, and it tastes like a, like a, obviously a fake chicken nugget. You can tell. Over seasoned. Overcooked. Yeah, that too. Overcooked. One thing about it, that I don't know if you picked it up because you instantly spit it out is um, I, I picked up a hint of lemon. I got some lemon off of that. So if you I like lemon and you think you can, you know, bear the everything else, then maybe try it. But I don't suggest picking this up. It's just not the vibe. Yeah, I think we should uh, put this off to the side and let's try the drink. To the side? Throw it away, man. Here. At the same time? No, we're not doing that again. We are not doing that but again. this time, it's not straws. That makes it even worse. We're going to be closer <laughs> to her faces. Go ahead, Devon. Take All a right, sip. Let's hear Masu. I'm going to get the chocolate over here. Cheers. Wow. It was not what I was expecting. You got a little, uh, little, little chocolate there, dog. Call it Dirty Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me try it before you rate it. So if you love seas candies, this is exactly how it tastes like. Uh, Which one? It's the one where it's a chocolate and it has like fudge inside of it. Is that like cherry? Like oh. cherry in it? Fudge or, like or, or cherry? Like the cherry fudge? I don't know. Make a mixture of both. I usually just grab everything. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. You don't like it? Mm -mm. I, I think it's the alcohol. I don't like the alcohol. It's not my, it's not my digs. I don't know. What kind of, what kind yeah, of alcohol is what, it? Yeah, what, I, no, it's, it's a rum. You sure it's rum? I, no, vodka. It's vodka. Vodka. I love yeah. vodka. I know you love vodka. I don't know. I, did, I, I didn't like it. You know what? Mix it around a little bit. Just mix it. Yeah, after even mixing it, it's it's not the vibe. I'm not a fan. It's just... I was on, honestly expecting an horchata. You know what's crazy? What's crazy? I'd rather have another one of these nuggets instead of another sip of that. Really? I'm the complete opposite. Uh oh. Anyways, so we're going to probably not finish these nuggets and maybe not even finish that drink but we will be moving on to our next location and getting some more food and or drinks let's go we 
we're gonna be picking up the savory kugel mac and cheese. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it sounds like it. With herb, breadcrumb, sour cream, and chives. We have our next food item, and it is called the savory kugel or kugel <coughs> mac and cheese. Ma Mother uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> mac and cheese. So what is it called again? The savory kugel mac and cheese? Yes, Devon. Okay, I just want to make sure. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look like mac and cheese. They did not use the macaroni. It looks like they just used some like leftover pasta. pasta. Yeah, like some just like bootleg pasta. I'm gonna say this though. I am glad that they added breadcrumbs because- It adds what? A crunch. Texture. Okay. <laughs> a crunch. Yeah, because- now, now we always talk about how we need a crunch with our with our mac and cheese. Yeah, because I remember last year we tried the, the vegan one and then we were like- Where's the, the vegan? No, yeah, vegan nachos. Anything vegan did not have a crunch. No, without a doubt. Yeah, it was it was not good. So I think we should both try this at the same time. It has like um, small little green onions, some crunchiness. It has like white cheese instead of like your average. Um... It's sour cream. Oh, it's sour cream? Yeah, it's crema. Okay. All right. Cheers, Devon. Cheers. Cheerios. I take back everything I said about the way it looks. Delicious. Yeah, that is fire. Best way I can describe this, sour cream and onion lay chips. Bro! Right? Yeah, dude, literally. That's it, such except, a, it, it, I mean, it is crunchy a little bit if you have the, the crumbs on there. That is such a great description. it's soft. Yeah. At the same time. It's it's so good. It's like if you were it's to- It's warm too. It's like if you were to have this pasta with the with the sauce on it, like the, the cream, uh, sour cream, and then you just crunch a bunch of the sour cream and onion chips on top. Yeah. Dude, that is fantastic. That yeah. for me is for sure gonna be a slack. I love that. That is so good. Devon? I love how they place a, a twist on a tradition. Bruh. It's gonna be like this all vlog. I already know this. <laughs> so Devon, is it a slap or a quack? Whatever oh, you wanna give it? It's a slap. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this up here and then we're gonna move on to our next booth because I know we got at least two more food items and then maybe one drink item or two drink items. Two drink item. Okay, so we got a couple more things coming up. So let's go ahead and finish this up and head over there. We came to the BFE uh, stand, Grandma's Recipes, which is right here next to Monsters Inc. And we are gonna be picking up the two items that they have available here. First thing is the barbacoa tamal de res. We're gonna be getting one of those. And we're gonna be getting the berry pomegranate paloma. And we are back with- Are we? With what? More food. More drinks. Actually, Devon got an extra drink. So we got the berry paloma, and we got the tamal, and Devon got some rosé. Mr. Rose, Mr. Fancy, okay. this guy. Well, let me see. I'm trying to come. What kind of rosé is this? Yeah, yeah. What kind of rosé? It's not a rosé. It's rosé. Yeah, rosé. Let's see. It is a McBright sister sparkling brut rosé from New Zealand. You guys, straight from the book. Devon was so disappointed with I, how small this was. You guys, I paid fourteen dollars for a drink, and I was expecting for this to be bigger. Look, in comparison to to these booklets, it's almost the size of the freaking book. It's wow, tiny. Comparing it to the regular size drink, it is a re regular size drink. It is a small drink. You versus the guests you didn't have to worry about. <laughs> Wow. Let's get to the food and then we'll get to the drinks. Okay. So let's dig into this tamal. Have you ever had a tamal at Disney before? I don't remember if we have. I've had. never had one at Disney. But so far, the presentation, it looks amazing. Yeah. It has the husk, it has the salsa verde, and it has some... Um, Crema. Cream all over the top, sprinkled. Good presentation overall. Yeah, so we're gonna, I'm gonna cut this one a little, I'm gonna cut a piece and I'm gonna give you guys a little cross section. Well, I can see so it's like meaty too. Wow. Oh, uh -oh. that's actually really thick. It's really meaty. So check that out, y'all. I was expecting for it to be a lot of masa. That <laughs> masa. Masa. Masa masa, 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 masa <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a really thick piece of uh, like the mal meat right there. Like yeah. that's even better than what you get like at the uh, the parking lots at Northgate. You know, from the lady that tamales. Those kind of ladies. Wow. Hundred percent. All right, Devon. Hey, um, but those, those tamales are fire, though. Yo, without a doubt, for sure, for sure. Um, cut oh. your own piece real quick. Cut it. Cut it. Wow, it looks beautiful, you guys. I'm gonna split mine in half. There's no way I'm gonna put that all in my mouth. Beautiful. Look at that. Damn. Yeah. All right, right guys. Devon. Cheers. 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 Slap! Slap! Wow. 
little spicy. Small amount of spice. Small. Very small. It's delicious. I want to say one thing though. The 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 masa from the tamal is a little chewy. It is not chewy at all. Do you think so? Or maybe maybe you know what? It's because I got the end piece. No, maybe. I got the end piece. Let me get a piece from the inside. No, it was not chewy at all, you guys. Everything was soft. The masa was juicy, moist. I was not dry at all whatsoever. The the salsa verde, it's a little spicy, but it's delicious. It was the, the end piece. The pork, you guys. Oh my god, it's like melt in your mouth. No, there you go. Melt in your mouth. Melt there in your go. mouth. Yeah, that is really good. I rank this one up there. Like, I just, like, like this tamale is Mexican approved. I love how much meat's in there. It's so packed yeah. full of meat. No pause. That's not something I'd expect from Disney. I'd expect them to give us the most small amount of meat. Exactly. That's what I was expecting too. I was like, really a tamale from Disney? But no. Yeah. Get it. You they, have. It's a must. They hooked it up for sure. While Dibon is indulging in his uh, piece of tamale, I'm going to go ahead and give this berry paloma uh, taste. You should try your rosé so we can rate it at the same time. Pinky's up. Would you say that's very good? It just tastes like berry. Like, I don't taste any tequila. Really? Yeah. Well, I could taste... Uh, whatever's in rosé. <laughs> I can taste the roses here. <laughs> that's very delicious. Um, it's not... Let's see. Overpowering. It, it, it smells like New Zealand. What does New Zealand smell like? I don't know. I used to, I, I'm a amateur wine connoisseur, so I can't just really describe it. But it tastes really good, like a good rosé. So I would definitely, definitely buy this drink elsewhere just because it's fourteen dollars for this little piece of thing. <laughs> but if you want to get drunk really fast, two of those, and I'm pretty sure you'll be out of there. Here, you try it out. Let me know how it tastes. All right. All right. Tell me what you think about the uh, the, the juice. The juice. Yeah, that, that, that's good. That's whatever. It tastes like they, they didn't, I, I can taste the alcohol. I can taste the tequila at the very bottom. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna give, uh, I'm gonna give the rosé a slap. I'm gonna give the berry juice. Oh. Nah. What? You were expecting for it to be like 14% alcohol, weren't you? I mean, something. You know, give me a little kick. I gave everything here a slap, you guys. Um, honestly, that even though it does not taste like it has a lot of alcohol in there, that is still an amazing drink. I love juice. I love pomegranate. Um, and look at this rim right here. Mm. It's a spicy and sticky. It really makes no, no, like the, Get closer to the camera and lick the rim. You're not down. No, was I supposed to make eye contact? Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> All right, guys, we are finishing up, okay? So we're gonna finish up our food and our drinks and we're gonna move on to the next booth. And I think we're actually gonna hit up the Paradise Garden Grill because they have some delicious looking items over there too. So let's finish this up and let's go. We made it over here to Brews and Bites and we're gonna be getting something that's brand new. It's actually a drink. And this drink is called the Churro Ale with Frozen Beer Slush. We're gonna try it and see if this thing is good. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. It looks like they added like a vanilla scoop of ice cream on top. All right guys, cheers. Let's see how this tastes. You can definitely taste the churro. They did not, uh, I guess they weren't stingy with the churros. So it's the foam on top that's churro? Or what is it? That's what I'm trying to do. Hold on, hold on. The beer, the beer tastes like toffee nut. Toffee nut? You just lick it? And the, and the bone tastes like churro. <laughs> okay. That's what it is. Beer tastes like toffee nut and the bone tastes like churro. So best of both worlds. What are you going to give it as far as a slap or a not slap? Let's see. I would give it a slap. I just wouldn't finish the whole thing myself just because it's very sweet. It's very good and delicious, but I feel like it's one of those drinks that they should have just offered a shot. Just like the, the tiramisu one, I feel like that one they should have offered it as a shot and you could have called it a day. Got it, got it. So where's the slap at? Oh, I should have. <laughs> There's this quack. <laughs> All right, Chris, so what do you have in your hand right now? The same drink that you just had. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to try this toffee churro business beer foam stuff. That's good, dude. That's really good. Just You're right. It, it tastes... Wait, let me get another sip. It's really hard to put my finger on that. Yeah. 
it's it <sighs> metaphorically speaking it's hard for me to put my finger on it. not physically it, it, it's good though it's really good I like it I'm gonna give it a slap it just I can't really like be like oh it tastes like blah 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 it tastes like blah 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 it, it just tastes like a churro beer that's what it tastes like just like a churro beer that's it churro beer but it's good we decided to take a break from Kevin. eating <laughs> that's not Kevin that's not Kevin imagine he calling you Kevin that's what he told me I oh, see <laughs> listen he Don't listen to me. he swears he's a Disney influencer he swears okay what's his name starts with an R don't put me on blast. Th like think about athlete. Last last name Westbrook. First, athlete. First name Ron. Our he test. Ron. Okay, listen. You, you and I let's have a conversation over here because honestly, like, like, uh, look. I want I wanted us to all take a picture, but after the way he's acting, I don't think we're gonna have to. We're gonna have him in there. He's 86, right? He's out. He's out. Okay. Well, his name's Russell Ivan. Russell Simmons. There no, we go. Oh my God! Imagine Russell. I would have said that. You would have got it. Yeah, if you would have said that. Who we'll invited this guy? <laughs> oh, he wanted to show you the duck call. He wanted yeah. to show you the duck call. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully Kevin doesn't hear it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> now you know who Kevin is, huh? No, <laughs> it's, gonna, it's the bird. Devon, come on. We'll see you, Russell. Thank you. Thanks see for being Russell. So cool. I love you. <laughs> Next booth is Winter Slider Land. And we're going to be getting a chicken slider. A Tagarashi Karagi chicken slider to be exact. With furukake mayo slaw on a Hawaiian roll. It, it looks good. But it's, you know what's it's crazy? It actually smells like the way that those uh, fake impossible nuggets smell like. So let's hope that it's good even though it's got that stank. All right, guys, and we are here. We are back. Thank you for watching us on the channel, The View. Thank you for watching that ad you just saw. I don't know what it was, but I hope it was worth the time coming back here and staying on the channel with us. What the fuck was that? The ad. You know the ads that you watch on YouTube? Anyways, so we're, we're looking at this thing. It smells like those chicken nuggets that I instantly threw up. Wait, I have napkins. Uh, that, that's, I, I have napkins, too. I actually said that earlier when, I, when we were over there. Um, this just... It just looks like it looks like Kevin. Uh oh, well, now you know who Kevin is, huh? <gasps> oh my god. Um, you know what, D1? You're I'm gonna let you. <laughs> <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, D1. Okay, 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 okay. Ready? <laughs> Only one time. Okay. One winner. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Yes, I won. I thought rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes! <laughs> you eat it. <laughs> but make make sure make sure you get a little, little little bit of everything. I have a good bite right here that I'm okay. gonna get. All right. So, bone apple teat. Imagine eating all the chicken. Look, there's chicken right there. He, only one, that that's all the chicken he left me. That's all the chicken there was. Bro, look look at the little bite that he took. Look at the bite he took. And he took all the chicken. I'm sorry they gave us a a slender piece. You of chicken. ate all the chicken. Then you're gonna take one bite anyway. <clears throat> On the count of three, you're gonna say slap or no slap. Okay. And we're gonna just do it at that. Okay. One, two, three. No slap. slap. It's it's a weird consistency at the beginning. So it kind of throws you off. But once you get to the chicken, I feel like the chicken. I wish I had a little bit more of the chicken. <laughs> I'm sorry, Devon. I don't know what you want me to do, bro. Like. <laughs> no, I just didn't like how. First of all, I was already traumatized with the curry. <laughs> Chicken bites. That's why we played rock paper scissors. See who, see who was gonna be the first one to take a bite out of it. And then when you smelled it, it just brought back the trauma. Huh? Yeah, you it did. It, yeah. There is one more place we're gonna go to that's supposed to have some bomb-looking food and a watermelon, a full watermelon. And Debon's gonna put a full the, the it's he's gonna put, he's gonna put it's the whole thing in his mouth. It's, it's a full watermelon. I don't know, but we're gonna go check it out. Bye. We are at our final stop of the day, which is the Paradise Garden Grill. They have a few offerings here that you can actually use your Sip and Saver Pass for, so we're gonna get that right now. We're gonna be getting the Impossible Albomiga Soup, the Tacos Gabanera. Dima, how do we say that? The Tacos Gabanera Dor. And we're gonna be getting the street style watermelon. We thought about getting the chocolate flan, but I don't really like flan, and mm, so we're gonna get the street style watermelon. 
And y'all, we are back and ready to devour this amazing establishment of food. Three course meal right here. 100% with a little bit of extra kick at the end. So like I showed you guys on the menu, they have the tacos, they have the soup, they have the sandia, and they have the flan. You also have the waters. And the waters. That's not on the menu, but if you want it, you can get it. All you gotta do is ask. It's, it's like in and out It's part of the secret menu. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna ask for it. So we got the albondiga soup, we got the taco, and we got the sand. The what? We got the sand. We got the sand. <laughs> we got the sandia. <laughs> uh, guys, before we get to anything else, look how big this watermelon is. And look at it, it's full of cajin and chamoy right there. Oh Bruh, guys, that, it's dripping it's everywhere. Literally dripping. It, I'm, my mouth is salivating. Like, salivating. I'm like, I'm like mm -hmm. So, Dima, what do you want to start with? I'm gonna say we start off with the taco and then we move on to the soup and then the sandia. The only reason why I wanna attack it this way, I wanna eat the taco, wash whatever flavor of the taco with the albondia soup, and then drink some water and then hit the sandia. Okay. The that is a cross section, you guys. You can't, you can't really see much, it's just because it's kinda flat, but. <laughs> My second rule. But we'll, uh, we're definitely gonna see what it's all about and we're gonna tell you guys if it's good or not. All right, just by the looks of this, I can see there's a lot of chipotle sauce. Did you say chipotle? Yeah. C-H-I-P-T-L-E, chipotle. Want me to use it in a sentence? No, it's fine. I, I believe you. I went to chipotle I literally and said no. a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cheers, Devon. Cheers. Let's see what this chipotle sauce is all about. Well, already. Oh, there's shrimp in here. It's, it's like like a fajita. Yeah. And a taco. Yeah, it's a little bit spicy. So for those of you guys who are not a fan of spice, wait, keep that in mind. I'm a green dog. This is a slap for sure. The shrimp in there is delicious. I had no idea what was actually inside this taco. I didn't read the actual ingredients. And I'm glad I didn't. I'm pleasantly surprised. This is worth the tap. Even though it's only one taco. It's so good. All right, guys, now we're gonna move on next to the albondiga soup. In case you don't know what that means, um, that is literally a soup with meatballs. So with the albondiga soup, it also has vegetables in there. A lot of the times it's potatoes, carrots, celery, and some spices. Now this soup only came with one meatball. The bigger versions come with, I think, three, but this is a soup and saver sample version. That's why it's so small. But we'll just split the meatball. And then just actually, I don't know, man. La the last freaking thing you ate all the chicken. It was an accident, <laughs> guys. This is also gonna be an accident. All right, whatever. You want lime? Uh, I'll try it without the lime first. Here, right. just cut it in half. And this meatball, meatballs, um, they they put rice in there and meat, you guys. So it's very uh, thick. Yeah. Albondiga soup. Wait, 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 wait. With the chips like this, with the veggies, chips and veggies. I feel this is a great size for the sip and saver. Yeah, absolutely. It's not too much, it's not too little. We got a big meatball, put some veggies, and some chips, it's a win. All right, D-Bomb, slap, quack, what are you giving it? Double slap, all right, good to know. And we have one more thing, the big mama itself. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time I've ever seen a full sandia watermelon covered in chamoy and tahine. We cut it in half, by the way, you guys. At Disneyland. We're not at Disneyland, we're Disneyland California Adventure, DCA. The Disneyland Resort. This is the first time I've seen this, and I am super impressed, I'm super excited. Let's look at the plate. The plate has so much juice. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up more. Look at this, Ooh. look at that. So much juice. So let's go ahead and cheers, and <clears throat> indulge. All right, I wanna see you bite it. Wow, that's a big one. Oh, it's so good. That was amazing. Bon Appetit. Devon, it's 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 not going anywhere. It's not a race. I know, but it's so good. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say this is an immediate slap for me. Uh, I just wish there was more tahini. I feel like there's a lot of chamoy, but not enough tahini. You missed a spot right here. No, I missed a spot. Yeah, you missed a spot right here. I feel Disney brought out some really good dishes, like 100%. I'm telling you, they are listening, they are seeing the comments, and hopefully next year, oh, hopefully the next festival, everything's a slap. Can you wipe your face, please? I already wiped it. 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. We have come to the finale, yeah, the conclusion, the ending. The ending? No, oh, I don't want it to end. I'm having so much fun. I mean, the thing is, Devon? What thing? Th I'm gonna explain the thing. Lie to us, come on. I would say, that, that's not a lie, I was saying the thing is, it doesn't have to end. Just because we're done with this vlog, doesn't mean we're done with all the holiday food here at Disneyland and DCA. So with that Disneyland being said, too? Disneyland has holiday food too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So with that being said, guys, we're finished with this vlog for the festival holidays. We officially tried, but just about every single new item that they had, food-wise. Yeah, that was a lot too. I'm, I'm satisfied. Yo, yeah, 100%. Uh, food-wise and uh, some new drinks. And just about every single thing we tried today was a snack. Almost everything. There just two items were not a slap for me. The, the, the impossible chicken bites were not a good for you. Um, and then that... that Tiramisu tier, drink. Yeah, it was good. And then I didn't really like the berry... Uh, I liked it. What was it? The Paloma? It tasted good. The berry Paloma tasted it, good, just did not have the alcohol. It was, yeah, it was just like whatever for me. But regardless, everything else that we tried today, drink-wise, food-wise, it was a complete... Drink-wise, food-wise, complete... I am completely stuffed. Devon, how you feeling? I can still eat. Well, you can go do that over there, Mr. Duck Boy. I'm gonna call it a night because I need to take a nap. Yeah, me too. I'm in the biggest food coma of my life. One thing I gotta say though, I had such a good time with you, man. Honestly. Another, oh shit. Imagine I wanted a hug. <laughs> That's for uh, the other subscription. That's for my um, only hug. Devon! Anyways, yeah, I had a great time with you, Devon. Appreciate you hanging out again, man, and doing this video with me. Uh, plus, obviously, we you know we have such a good time together. Uh, somebody came up to us and they were like, literally, like, dude, you guys are like, you guys are so cool. You guys like have the best chemistry. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, yeah. I just thought it was funny how we were eating. People were just watching us, like, just laughing the whole time. And I was like, uh, are they laughing at us or with us? Definitely at us. 100% at us. Once again, guys, just as a reminder, if we get one of these vlogs with Devon to 10K views, he will actually go first row on Incredicoaster. First row. Get this video to 10K views. I first want him row. first row. Yeah, first row. I have a 360 camera so you can see every pixel of his face screaming. In case you guys are wondering why we're making this a big thing, I am a scaredy cat when it comes to roller coasters, so. So get this video to 10K. We're literally, this is the video. Make it happen, guys. But on another note, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you guys did, make sure to slap that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let us know with a comment down below. Out of everything we tried today, what is something that you want to try here at the Festival of Holidays? Let us know down below. If you guys are not following me on social media, everything's under I'm Chris Rogers. If you guys are not following Debon, at DJ Debon. If you guys are not following me on Twitch, that's also under I'm Chris Rogers. If you guys are not following Debon, it's also at DJ Debon. And guys, with all that being said, we'll catch you on the Lippy Whippy. Lippy Whippy Whippy Whippy. Peace. <laughs>